I unlocked Bankai and Peroxide in 24 hours. Well, actually 27, but don't mind that. It was good, fun progress, but it was also incredibly fucking annoying. So they start in this dojo. Also, your hair is like deep woken, so whatever your Roblox avatar hair is, that's your hair in game. Welcome to Cadet. Today you'll be taught the basics of combat and how to train yourself. Let's begin with the very basic draw your training katana, E, perform light attacks, M1 on me. Combat was pretty much the same as every other game M1, M2, hold F, press M2 to parry, or perfect block, which is F right as they attack you. There's also dashes. The stats were a little confusing at first, but I kind of got the hang of it. Basically, you have a uh, potential for each type of stats. In order to increase that potential, you're going to need to limit break. So, first, in order to limit break, you have to max all of your stats. And as well, you have a max level. In order to increase your max level, your stats need to be higher. Now, there's something in this game that's kind of special that not many other games do other than the Woken that I know. It's with cards. So each, every three levels, I believe, you get a chance to get a skill, which is going to be in one of these cards. You can get a rare or common skill. Well, what I mean, you can get three skills, but you can only pick one of them. It's pretty simple. Each clan, legendary clan, has a special skill that you can only obtain with set clan. And you can also get your Shikai moves from this, but you can only get the Shikai moves after you get your Shikai. The Bankai move automatically comes with your Bankai. I think we're about ready for the world now. I'll open up a Senkai M1 and deploy you to the battlefield. Oh, and here's a medal to keep your Rayetsu up. Three. A medal. Do I just click on this? I don't know what that does. Enter the war. Oh, just launch me into the war? Alright, bro. Chill the fuck out. Holy shit. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Yo, let me breathe, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so that happened. Um, It looks like they put us into a fucking war about the Thousand Year Blood War, which I was not really happy to see. All right. Um, Welcome to Peroxide. Before you start playing, we recommend reading the manual accessible via the book icon on the top left of your screen. Okay, to become a Soul Reaper, you have to go onto Kisuke's house, like into his house, obviously, and just talk to him. And you can literally just say, I want to be a Soul Reaper, and you just become a Soul Reaper. There's no obligations or quests or things that you need to do to become it, which is actually pretty neat. So go to your stats real quick. It's in there the top go. left. Yep. Okay, and then go to... Um, okay, so right now, I, I can come help you. You'll be hearing Scoobs help me a lot during the video because he's literally the wiki man. He'll literally find anything you need to know about a Roblox game on the internet somehow, some way, even if there's not a wiki or a Shiloh for it. I put some codes in, got some product essence, and actually bought clan rerolls because my clan was in the common clan and uh, I needed a better one, obviously. And uh, obviously, because I'm good, I ended up with Kurosaki somehow, some way. I mean, legendaries aren't actually that hard to get in this game, but it's all right. I'm, I, I'm happy. I was happy. <laughs> Oh, you might get it from leveling up. With Kurosaki, you get the Getsuka Tensho ability. Ooh. So, with Kurosaki, you get improved vitality, improved spirit, improved Rietsu, improved Rietsu regen, and Getsuka Tensho. So, early game, a really good way to get your stats up is actually to do Kisuke quests. You can clean houses, do damage to NPCs, stuff like that. You can also go to the gym, but your actual stats cap out at 30 and then you'll obviously have to limit break but after 30 you can no longer go in the gym so you have to go and do like other quests as well as kisuke's and kisuke's quests also cap out at some point i'm not 100 sure though when then i just did a couple quests and finally got my first skill and stat point thing select the stat to bolster uh rietsu so i can max it yeah yeah all right rietsu is now max new skills available aerial tandem flash mirage i decided to get flash mirage since it was an evasive skill and it was actually useful for my fights right now and the other ones weren't really needed this is my first look on what the Sheik guys looked like because Scoob's already got it. You need level 15, so that was my next goal. I pretty much just spent the rest of my time maxing out my stats at level 30 so I can actually get to the limit break part to do my stats, I guess you could say. It was a little long, but, you know, it was perfectly fine. It didn't really take that long. And then Scoob said this. Why, well, what's up? My mom's getting, uh, or my mom and dad are getting married. What? Yeah, I don't know. Going past that, I just continued killing Hollow's request, and then Mr. Guts Uzumaki decided to give me a little early Christmas present. Yo, uh, Guts is talking to me. Go. Trader Shades. Yeah, I don't know why this guy just walked over to me and gave me Trader Shades that gave me plus three vitality and plus five spirit, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Now watch this shit. Oh, oh my god! Bro, that did like 25% of his health. New scale available. New skill, not scale. Whoops. Alright. Oh my god, I can upgrade yes, the yeah. <laughs> again, bro. The time came and I finally got to level 15, so I was finally able to unlock my Shikai, and this 
way the, the way you unlock your shikai is it's incredibly boring and annoying That's horrible. you need to collect a you need to collect a bunch of them all right yeah so i thought this would take like at least a minute or two but this took almost six minutes which is just like what six minutes picking up orbs are you serious but in the end i finally got all the orbs and i finally was able to do the riddle what is a uh, round and round and round and round oh the desolation head of the civilian bring it or something something like that yeah so the riddle was pretty much just kill like a civilian so like a soul reaper guard and bring its head you don't really need to bring its head all you need to do is grip it and then the quest riddle thing is done and uh and then you have to pick up more fucking orbs and then now you need to do the orb thing again bro so I picked up the orbs and my next riddle was actually to kill a rogue Shinigami. So I just need to like adventure around in the soul society and find a Shinigami. Uh, also, I underestimated the fuck out of these guys. Um, now hit N. N. I swear to God. This is where I can fight my Shikai and get my Bankai. My area was a little mid, but you know what? It's whatever. I'm still complaining to this day, but it's fine. I finally got my Shikai and now we're going to be fighting my Shikai. Um, what's his name? That's fire. That's the most beautiful yeah, dude. Re or unbind all your skills. And then just fight him with the sword. Yeah, so Scoobs was 100% right. I unbinded all of my skills and pretty much just m one him, except with Flash Mirage. And I easily beat him. It was like super easy. Um, but yeah, I got my Shikai and, uh, I did get win, so I decided to, you know, re-roll it. Well, what if you get, like, a one good one, you know? What if? Oh, I got Glaze. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> uh, yeah, so that happened. I'm now a holder of a Legendary Clan and Legendary Shikai. Keep in mind that they're only 2%, so they're not extremely difficult to get, but, you know, Scoobs was pretty, pretty jealous, so, uh, I consider that a win in my books. Finally got my bar to enough percentage to use my Shikai for the first time, and oh boy, was I excited. The color was nice, the weapons were nice, and, uh, I don't have any abilities yet, so I, I can't really fully test it out. Alright, finally, new skill available. Um, I can't really put anything in there, so whatever. Yeah, uh, the- Boom. Oh! Oh! Yeah, so it was between Frozen Construct Fan and the 100 Ice Knight Purgatory. And uh, I ended up going to the Purgatory because it is a complete full AoE attack. And as well as when you do it, you get these spinning blades around your body that just passively do damage to anyone that comes near you. So it's just, I, I don't know, I, I just think that that ability is just crazy insane. I found out that invasions can actually give you drops, like accessories, time relics, and also godly items that can even get you godly accessories as well, but also different forms. Uh, so I decided to swap to invasions with Scoob and Minigun because it gives you stats as well, like uh, just how key skates work. So started doing these for a while. All right, bro, chill out. Oops, I'm gonna hit you. Oh, we got a new skill available, level 30. New skill. Another skill, baby. We haven't been too lucky with the other ones, but I hope we can be lucky with this one. Yes! Finally, it was a long time until I got a brand new skill. Sadly, it was the skill that we decided to pass off earlier, but at least we got a new Shikai skill so we can finally use something other than just the Ice Purgatory. Uh, I'll stop by back with you when I get like another good ability or um, when I get another good ability or probably when I hit level 50, I guess. I now needed to fight Kisuke for some extra stats because I was hitting my max level capacity and uh, you know I needed to ex exceed my stats so I can at least go higher than the max level. I really I can't see him in this, that's the only problem. Oh there we go. You feel your spirit is bolstered immensely. New skill available. Please be a Shinkai. Skill, please. Oh! There we go, let's go. This ability was actually really really good. It made you launch like an ice thing that would pull the enemies back towards you. And if it missed or even it, later on after you upgraded a little bit, as it breaks, it'll send an arrow back flying towards you. So anything pretty much right in front of you will just take damage by that arrow, which is just crazy good. I hit level 50 and I ended up defeating like my first type of Quincy raid where they like just raid and spawn in a random area in Kakuta Town or it can even happen in Huacomundo. 
and uh, you, if you kill all of them, you get a free stat, like uh, stat level up, just like how Kisuke works. And you also have a chance to get an accessory. And for this instance, I got the blindfold. It is worse than the Trader Shades, but you know, still cool that I got my first actual drop. Oh, I just found Kevin Hart. What? Okay, sorry. Yo, die, bitch. Dude, it's literally Kevin Hart. No way, Kevin Hart. Let's go. So I ended up getting the level that you need to actually start progressing towards your Bankai. So as soon as I got to level 85, I jumped right into invasions and started doing a bunch of them because you need a total of 400 points to be able to challenge your Bankai. Uh, and then, you know, you can fight your Bankai and then you get your Bankai. Four cards. Rare. Amen. 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 Okay. Let me do Amen. Amen. Oh, let me do it. Yeah, you do it. I, I, I have obfuscation. That I'm going insane, though. actually. Yeah, so that's all. Oh, wait. Oh, treasury funds. Here we go. There we go. I decided to see how much progress I have towards the points for my Bankai, but after speaking to my Shikai, he doesn't even tell me, he just literally tells me to get lost. Funny enough, these cat ears are literally just a troll item. They take away certain stats, and uh, you also cannot flash step, even if this is on just as vanity, which is really weird. Dude, if I have to do any more of these, I'm gonna fucking scream. Oh my god. Uh, spirit, and I'm not gonna click the skill because I'm just gonna keep that. I'm getting too close to like match level. A rare. Yay! Party essence. Nice. What's this rare? I just kept on doing more and more and more and more and more invasions, and at one point, I literally got off the game because there was just way too many invasions. I also found out what to do with the time relics. If you get 10 of a time relics from the invasions or just random drops or even some kills, uh, you can actually exchange the 10 and 50 yen to this guy for a random drop of a gem. These gems will obviously enhance your skills, nothing else, and uh, each gem actually does different stats. You can look at the Trello if you want to know the exact stats. Okay guys, it has been a little bit again. <laughs> yeah, baby, let's go! Oh my god, finally, dude. I sense you have enough power to unlock my full potential. The trials will begin when you're ready to unlock Bankai. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, I was pretty excited how I got the Bankai unlocked, but my mood and happiness decided to just decrease by an insane amount after fighting the Bankai boss for hours and hours and hours and hours. I think it even took more than a day to, uh, to beat him. Not 24 hours, but I had to split up and do into a couple days, I actually think. So, um, if you're gonna fight for your Bankai, uh, I'd recommend not getting a legendary Shikai. Because this motherfucker destroys you, and he leaves no mercy. Yes! Fuck! Please, no. I lost! No! This is where the shit actually went down. This is what brought my sanity just- Oh my goodness, I went crazy over this fight. 
thankfully after you do the sword part you you just automatically get put into the punkai fight uh when you want to you know fight him for your punkai but uh i now know the pain of fighting the bankai when it has a legendary shikai this glacier purgatory ability is so op it is crazy op that guy shredded my hp like completely deleted it i fought this guy for so long i even started playing a fucking simulator game because i was so sick of peroxide i was so done um once you get to uh, uh i think it's like s minus or it got so bad to the point that you know sadly i rolled off of glacier on purpose because for some reason, the Glacier Bankai was just so OP to fight. And I think the only way to beat things like that is to cheese it. And, you know, I didn't want to cheese it. So I just swapped. And luckily, I got clone. Um, so it's not a horrible one. And, uh, you know, I felt a lot better after this. Which one's him? What, what the fuck is going on? Dude, look how much easier it is when he doesn't have stupid passive damage. Yeah. The only hard part now is that you have to figure out which one's him he's blue him. so his clones are oh, blue. he's uh oh shoulder guard <laughs> it's because they're blue he's the one with the shoulder guard who just did get to get tensha it's three dude what and then it finally happened I'm done! Oh, you I'm did? done! I didn't even realize. Let's go! <laughs> I finally beated the Bankai and I unlocked it myself. Now it's only 30 seconds, but this thing is cool as fuck and I'm so glad I got it. I, I, I was just so happy that moment. Even Skuzos, he was celebrating with me and everything. Sadly, it was defeated in Clone Shikai. I couldn't do any Glacier. It was just too hard. Uh, but after I defeated the Bankai, I decided to, you know, re-roll my Shikai again to try and get something out of even Clone. Sadly, it seems I did forget to record it. But as you can see from my HUD, I got fire. Now, for me personally, I saw Purgatory. No, this is not me being... This is not my cope mechanism. But I saw Purgatory's Bankai move, and I generally like the fire one. It gives you these weird skeletons that will literally like walk over and literally just fucking explode and disintegrate people. As well as you don't need to grip someone in order to full kill them when you're in Bankai mode because you will burn them to death. Also when you're walking you spawn those skeleton guys. It's just so awesome. So I guess it automatically, so everything that was in my purgatories and my ice abilities just got transferred. Correct. Correct. But my Bankai is not. Your Bankai, oh your Bankai 6. Bro, well, really? I need to re-up to up? Wait! Can you limit break by killing an invasion? I want to thank you all for the recent support on my channel so far. These past few months have been literally crazy for my channel, and I am so thankful. Hopefully, we can move on to different games branch out, because I'm getting extremely bored of anime adventures at the moment. I even missed the Overlord update video. I have all the footage, I'm just not bothering editing it, because it was such a boring update. If you guys did enjoy the Peroxide video, though, leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do more. Um, if you guys do like it, and this video does get, you know, good views, it gets good, it does it does good, generally. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Quincy video. Uh, even if it doesn't do good, I'll probably play Quincy, uh, and, uh, you know, I'll most likely still upload it for those loyal, cool people that are always in the channel. But if you guys are new viewers, you know, like subscribe and let me know if you guys want to see more content like this or if you're going to go back and watch the other anime adventures videos and be interested in those but other than that thank you guys so much for the, watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace